Plains Games with Jay. All right, we're back with Rhapsody. I don't remember any of the voices we did, so that's fun. Uh, also, we got, what, the blue cat or something? I... I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, like the cat's oh, we, eye. We, we had that. We got okay. the cat's so eye. now we go to the... The town? Town or tower, right? It was a tower? The tower? Oh, yeah, 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 because we had to put it in the thing. Okay. See, we're on top of this. We know. We remember this exactly. Know the game, yeah. Yeah. The gate opened! Oh, uh, Daddy, it's a long time to wait, but I guess better late than ever. Well, since there's someone in your party, we're smart enough to figure this out. The fuck? Come and see me, but know this. Knowledge alone will not see you through if you value your life. You should leave. All right. I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, there we go. Okay. I got stuck on a frame. Oh, one of these dungeons. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, uh... We're gonna speed run it. Oh, upstairs. Yeah, we just need to go to the top, right? Just, uh... Yeah, this is the oh, easy, easy. easiest dungeon in the entire world, this is. Just gotta go right through here. I memorize this. I've played this game a thousand times as the third floor. Thank you for that information. <laughs> and this stone, pl like, tower, there's just one little A shitty wooden plank wooden sign. sign. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. I hope we don't run into any enemies. Uh, okay, yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> there we go. Wow, you're finding these stairs real easy. Yeah, I told you I'm a pro at Rhapsody. Mm hmm. Uh, the musical adventure. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Oh, that's right. We have so a bunch it's of the things. yeah. This powers them up. Yeah, and gets you your musical notes. Yes, yes. And then uh... dude, you're level four. What the heck? Yeah, I'm a fucking G. And then uh, we added uh, so we have El Kun. Um, let's see. Yeah, why the fuck not? Eat shit. Um, oh. Oh, yeah, eat shit. Damn. <laughs> we added Terra to our party. That's um, right. I have already... For I went in from that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I ever totally remember. Thinking, Thinking cap. Okay. Is there something to equip? Probably. Let's take a look. Let's see. In my intelligence, now I know algebra. I'm a genius. Let's continue. Oh. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Do you know what any of that means? Uh, I didn't do too bad in algebra. Okay. Um, How far did you get in, in, in the maths? Pre-cal. Okay. Because in, um, I don't remember if I told this before, um, but in high school, I read the student handbook and was like, oh, you only need three math credits in order to graduate, quote unquote, mm -hmm. right? So I was thinking about, I was like, okay, I hated geometry so much. I was so bad at it. Sure. And then I was like, I got it. I'll I'll take an algebra two class for the summer and and then and so submit that as my um you know, my second math credit. Mm. And then I take I took pre cal my sophomore year for a semester. So basically I for like two years and a s and a half a sem or and a semester, like I didn't know math in high school. Mm. I was just like, I want to make sure I don't have, I can make my <laughs> educational life as simple as possible. Mm. And you know, I guess that's where my like street smarts come in of just like, let me game the system kind of deal. Mm. I did the same thing in college. I was like, okay, I need, I need how many like credits to like make my life easy. And so like I did a bunch of like summer classes during, in college, um, even though it cost more for sure. But I was like, by senior year, I only had two classes, my mm. master writing class and yoga <laughs> it was yoga. great yoga <laughs> yeah they were like look for one i just need one more miscellaneous class and i was like you know what like and freshman year i looked i was like there's a yoga class and i was like you know what i'm gonna save that for senior year so when i'm like stressed out and stuff and it really helped <laughs> um i remember 
one of my, um, not to say yoga is bullshit, but one of my bullshit classes in senior year was outdoor skills. It was great. Did I ever tell you about this? Outdoor skills? What does that entail? Outdoor skills was just go into the woods behind the school, make campfire food, <laughs> make a shelter, <laughs> like, oh. in, in the snow time, like, make a, make a, a snow shelter. No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted! Okay, well, <laughs> right. Come on, Elkun. My horn! You can't do anything, Father. <laughs> uh, all right, well, great. Um, do, you, do you still retain any of those? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I remembered that if you put a bunch of shit in tinfoil and cook it, it tastes pretty good. Hmm. That's what I learned from outdoor skills. Um, yeah. like, a lot of my peers were like, you gotta take all these AP classes because of blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I took AP English and yeah. I took AP Calc. Yeah. But some people were like, I'm taking six AP classes. And I was like, cool, I'm taking outdoor skills because <laughs> I don't want to, because <laughs> I have, kind of like you, I think I had like a lot of my requirements done. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to. Yeah. Like uh, why, why, like, I think you. Did you, oh, seventh floor. Okay. Um, yeah, no, for sure. Like, that's... Why make it difficult? Sure, it's kind of like, it's eating up your other time or whatever. Mm. But it's... Eh. Like, I don't know. It made senior year kind of a breeze for me. Yeah. Well, I think I, I did have the benefit of my grades were really good. And uh, I did really well on the ACT. So oh, I was like, I was I like oh, there's less pressure. Like, sure. And like, for me... Uh, I mean, there's some, some pressure from my from my mom. You're like, you should do get into there. Basically, I went to uh, Michigan State University, mm -hmm. which is a good school. Like, it's one of the two big schools. In, yeah. Well, not oh, people hearing that might not like it, but uh, I would say one of the two big schools, and there's uh, some other schools too. Um, but uh, the sort of quote unquote more ooh uh, prestigious one would be University of Michigan. Right. Um. But, and so she's like, you gotta apply there and all, oh, and whatever. Um, but what ended up happening was I basically got like a bunch of scholar, like Michigan State was like, we'll give you a bunch of scholarships if you go here. Yeah. U of M was like, we'll give you diddly shit. So I was like, cool, I'm going to, I'm going to Michigan State. And I did not regret it. I thought it was, I thought was, I had a great time. Nice. Um, but. Down. It, yeah. I yeah, I know. Oh, what, what the hell? What? What? Ah, fif no, wait, this is the guy I said before. Fifteen years is a long time. <laughs> you come so far. Well done. My name is Polanski. Oh, I've always wondered how big and strong a great sage would look like. Ah, he's just an old man. <laughs> I never admitted to being a great sage, so what do you want? Well, you must have a reason for coming up here. No. I need your advice. I see. So you want to save the prince. Willing to risk life and limb in order to save the person you love. I remember when I... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just tell us how to get the prince back in shape. Hmm. You youngsters are so impatient. All right, all right. The spell that was casted on the prince is an ancient spell. In order to undo the spell, you need the five hot stones first. Water stone, fire stone, earth stone, wind stone, and thunder stone. My favorite Pokemon evolution stones. They are useless by themselves, but together they are very powerful. Well, the stones have been scattered all over the kingdom. There are other things you must do, but find the stones first. What? Understood. Okay, do anything you aren't sure of, come back and see me. I'll write you a letter so the queen will let you go through the suspension bridge. And this ring will let you come up here from the- Oh, thank you. That's very convenient. Oh, teleport ring. Thank you, Mr. Sage. This is great, Cornette. I was getting worried that there'd be no way to undo the spell on the prince. By the way, I was wondering, are you really a puppet? Puppy shouldn't be able to talk. Who, me? Of course I can talk. That's because... Mustaki is the greatest puppet? What? 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 Has this been mentioned before at all? Is this new? I, Did I, you say Mustaki? The Mustaki? Yeah, why? I guess that's her creator. Mustaki, 
Now that's a name I've not heard in a long, long time. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's doing fine. Is this our grandpa? I really? I figured as much. He sure was a tough one. So he finally perfected the ancient technology. Impressive. <laughs> what? Uh, um... But what? I was wondering, how do you know Bustaki? What's the connection between you two? It was a long time ago. He was my rival and a good friend. Uh, sorry, I asked. Huh? Why? When you get an old man to talk about his past, you get his whole life story. Yes, that was about 18 years ago, give or take a few months. See? Once upon a time, I was born from the womb when Miles Kingdom was invaded by the country of Carl Madman. Is that Carl Urban's evil brother? Mustaki and I were ordered by Galonzo, I forgot about him, to resurrect the ancient weapon. Uh, this is going to be painful. Oh, look at the time. We got to get going, Cornette. What? Well, but that seems like kind of important. Ancient weapon. And this is how Mustaki and I were able to resurrect the ancient weapon and drive away the enemy. But it was too much for us humans to handle, so we sealed the ancient weapon without telling the king. The king found out how to relieve of our duties. That's why Mustaki and I lived as hermits away from the castle. Glonzo had tried to use the ancient weapon to gain power. That's why your mother, huh? Well, NVM. Uh, young people have the attention spans of rocks. Time to fuck this puppet. Oh, what? I, I heard meow. I'm gonna tell a common get a commendation when I tell Master Meow Meow. Uh, oh. Meow. Um. <laughs> attention span of rocks? What does that mean? Uh, a rock just sits there. <laughs> so you're saying the rocks are really patient? Yeah. I think it more it was more along the lines of non-existent. Ah. Um, Monji was really reacted to that meow. I know. Um. All right, so we got to go to the bridge. Uh, get these elemental hot stones. Oh, is what I heard, meow. Well done. <laughs> what did he sound like again? <laughs> meow, Mistress Marjorie actually complimented me. Find the five stones, undo the spell on the prince. And who's going to gather the stones, meow? Do you even need to ask? <laughs> the prince will be mine soon. All of you, go find the stones. What did I tell you? <sighs> is the music too loud or is it good? What do you mean? Like from the TV? Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Do you hear how they actually sound? That's pretty metal. <laughs> yeah. More beautiful than the goddess. I put her face to shame. Oh, look at me. Oh, what do you see? I'm clever getting a, a villain no number. Yeah. Than me. I am the queen, the best you've seen. So worship me. I like how one of the cats is out of sync. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my song. <laughs> there is one thing that I still have to get. I won't rest till he <laughs> Don't you know you're old enough to be his mother? Hey, you shut up! My heart is burning, overheating <laughs> with a raging fire. The prince I do admire. He fills me with desire. Dear Ferdinando, I am here to save you from this curse. <laughs> You inflicted on him. <laughs> yeah. My thirst. My precious wait a little longer. I will end your strife. I'll bring you back to life. I'll be your <laughs> wicked wife. Dear Ferdinando, I am here to save you from this curse. Let your love quench my thirst. Quench your thirst. If you dare to get in my way, make you You won't live another day. Queenie, just 
Look at the mouth on the the dog one. It's so big. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. This is the part of like a Broadway musical where the crowd would be clapping the hardest. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. I yeah. feel like the villain numbers always got Marjorie! the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we can just go directly here, right? We better not have to go back to town just to say, we got your letter and you can cross. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're good, right? Do you have a pearl, mate? Who do we see? Are you Cornette? The queen had ordered us to let you pass. Please go through. I've got to get the oasis to buy the prince. What can I do? Um, that's, oh, that is up. Okay, that okay. looked. That's weird. <laughs> Help me. A dragon's trying to eat me. Help, please. Ah! <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus, okay. Um, now, what is our highest one? Uh, oh, I see. Attack all- yeah, pancake. Let's do it up. Or I can save it for a boss. I'm gonna- I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna use, uh... You know, I just kinda wanna see... Pancake. Let's do it, pancake! Whoa! Mm. Hey, get the fuck out of here. Did you ever watch Dave the Barbarian? No. There was a song called Pancake. Uh huh. It's like pancake, pancake, eat him with a fork. Pancake, pancake, don't be a dork. Mm. <laughs> Two great uh, <laughs> rules of life. <laughs> <laughs> Blood curly dragon. Oh, thank you very much for saving me. My name is. <laughs> Gail Yasukolo Sukolin you. Gail Yasukolin you. Gail Yasukolin you, but people call me Guanji for short. Where does that come from? If you're ever in Red Hot, make sure you come visit me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fly the same. Let me walk away to the same direction the dragon is. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. Time to go to my favorite hot sauce. Let's go. Red Hot. Chili peppers. All right. Guanji wanted to get the fire stone for the dragon's test by himself. The town of Red Hot is coming together nicely. The vague volcanoes in the west erupt often frightening, isn't it? I came looking for the prince, but where is he? Maybe I should go look for the girls instead. The legends say that the dragons keep the volcanoes from erupting. Well, we just killed one. Uh oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's bad. Grandpa came back here when he retired. He had been guarding the bridge for 30 years. There's no place like home. It's been so long since I was here last, I don't recognize anybody. You mean you've been standing on a bridge for 30 years? All my loved ones died except this kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm so I'm, alone. I'm not even his actual grandson. I'm just taking care of his house. I know. <laughs> Many, many thanks to you for saving Guanji. We worked hard to build this town, but the dragons are messing it up. Will you please protect us Fuck from no. them? Fuck <laughs> no! Thank you very much. The dragon's lair is located at the summit of the volcano to the west. There are two dragons, a male and a female. Please be careful. Hey, have you found the prince yet? No? Why not? <laughs> Man, you're bad at your job. My husband has been working really hard to improve this town. Yeah, doing what? <laughs> Prove it. What's his five-year plan? <laughs> Dude, I hate that question so much. Every time I'm like, what's your five-year plan? I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Not die? Yeah, like, what the hell? A noble-looking girl named Etoile was here the other day. She was just mad at the world. She was shouting something about it being too hot here. She was pretty snobby. Let's see what we got at the store. Um... I don't need healing items, not a little bitch. Offense plus five, that's pretty good. Yeah, but remember there was like one that was like something 20. Like, oh, I want to yeah, save it for yeah. something like that. I want a big, beefy item. Do you have enough for that one? Or? Uh, the, I don't know. You did a great job. I don't have anything to give you, but please enjoy your stay here. In your empty room? Yeah, what the f- In your fucking 
storage shack? Yeah, there's so many pots and jars. You know what I saw? I saw a lady with black wings flying toward the mountains. That's fucking weird. Oh, the dragon's killed my husband. <laughs> well, that's fine. All right, anyway, moving on. Winged people. I've heard that the ancient people had wings that allowed them to fly. Yeah, okay, you nut. <laughs> well, nothing of... Oh. I guess this heals us. Okay, cool. Okay. Is that, uh... Is that all? Okay... Oh, now the volcano. Let's go to Salsa Volcano! Okay. Ow! Why is it so hot here? God! <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Y you you're Marjolies. That's correct. I am Crowdia. Crodia. They call me the beautiful soldier of the rose. You may call me what you like. Just don't forget the beautiful part. What a freak. Who would have thought a little girl like you would attempt to save the prince by herself? Oh, you are so valiant! Huh? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay. What is she doing here? Nah, nah. Who fucking cares? Let's fucking kill her. Maze paths. Going through these maze paths. Which... Ow! What the hell? Oh, okay. Are these like Spiro? <laughs> yeah. Time to shot. Let's see. Holy. The other day, Munji was staring at a squirrel outside the window. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I was like, and I just like verbally, I was like, you, you good, girl? And the second I say that, she immediately, like, turned back to me and just went, like, meow! And, then, like, looked back at the squirrel. <laughs> like, leave me alone! Yeah. She's like, I'm concentrating! Like, <laughs> Dad! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Have we used Terra at all? Uh, a little bit, actually. Okay. Um, I don't even remember. Okay. Seen a lot of these guys. Uh, horn it up. Okay. And let's do a little holy. Right? What's real? Let's get real. Oh, we're causing some confusion. <laughs> okay. Holy. <clears throat> Bye, bitch. Learn a meteor. That's that seems powerful. Um, wow, they level up fast. God, I hope this is the right way. Yeah, this is this is annoying. <laughs> okay, up. Okay. Listen, I've played this game a thousand times. I know exactly which way to go. It's obviously this way. And then, oh yeah, and then you go up, of course, and then you go left, and then you gotta, but that's just, you know, they'll take a little break, because then you go up, and you keep going, oh. Oh, it's like a Whoa. fucking raptor. Yeah, what the? Okay. Horn. Um, I forgot we talked about this last time, but, um, uh -huh. besides, like, Fire Emblem and... I guess Fire Emblem. What tech, like these kind of grid based RPGs, have you played any others like before? Uh, Advance Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Advance Wars, yep. Um, any other ones? Uh, I think we mentioned before, like, Persona 1 is like this. So uh, it is grid based? Yeah. Mm. It's a lot like this, and if you're not close enough, you, you know, some party members just can't do anything because they're not close enough. Mm. Did you like Persona 1? <clears throat> I still need to finish it. Um,. You haven't played two yet, right? No, no. Um, I remember you were saying like two, one was annoying because they like split up the party or something. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's like there's two different paths. See, I'm a fucking genius. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> You've made it this far, huh? Impressive. Watch out. 
What? <laughs> ah! Oh! How typical! It's so rude to interrupt when someone's talking! Alas, monsters just don't know any better. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> oh! Where is that? Are we on their team? Oh, no. Okay. I was like, that'd be funny. I just want to recruit all the, the big three. Yeah. That was always fun in Fire Emblem when you did that, like, you know, you would recruit, like, a, a former bad guy. Well, that's uh, the thing, like, when I first played Awakening, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. So, like, I was like, huh, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of uh, focus on this Gaius guy, mm. right? And then I just ended up killing him, because I had no oh! clue. Yeah. Wow. Gaius I killed, and I, I had no, I had no clue at all, you know? Wow. Um, and it, it wasn't until I saw Tharja, I was like, Tharja's a bad guy? I was like... I thought everyone loves Tharja. And then that's what I was like, wait a second, I can recruit them? And, uh, <laughs> and I was kind of like, uh-oh. <laughs> How many people had you killed by that point? I think Gaius and... What's the... Pain? Pan? The, uh... Oh, the man! Oh, wow. I, see, I had no clue, though. That, that was, sucks. It wasn't until I saw Tharja. And that's the thing, I went I went to Awakening Blind, and I just... But all, the only thing I knew was that uh, Tharja was super popular. That's, That's all. so interesting because you'd never played one before. No. Mm. Yeah, that was my first Fire Emblem game. Mm, so. Yeah, because I'm just I played so many. I was like, yeah, you you recruit them and blah, blah. Wow. I never even thought about that, but that makes sense. So, did you ever do a playthrough to get them all, or did you just yeah, yeah they just died. Uh, uh, no, I never I never got to replay it. So mm. yeah. Damn. I know it's a very different Fire Emblem experience. <laughs> That's interesting though. Um. But after that, obviously, you you knew how to do it for the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, I know I know people didn't like Fates, but I do want to finish Fates eventually. Yeah, um, I like I liked Fates. I, I finished Birthright and halfway through Conquest, but I never um, I wanted to do Revelations. Mm. So, cause I, I like some of the characters in Fates. It was yeah, just, the story was kind of like eh. I still got finished three houses. <sighs> That was close. I'd like to imagine Cornet and what's your face are just talking about our JRPGs. And you're like, oh, oh we're, we're back on. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Close. I gotta play through houses. Anyway. Uh. Well, that's like Cornet, like with her, her puppet powers, right? She's like, you said, like, you guys do this anyway. So as I was yeah, saying, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the characters in Fates are pretty good. <laughs> Murderers? Why? Why did you have to destroy such a beautiful creature? What? What? Is this an earthquake? Is it over? This is your doing. By destroying one of the Guardians, the seal has been weakened. Guardians? Yes, the dragons are the sentinels that keep the volcanoes at bay. You heard that from one of the NPCs, you dolt. They are the guardians of the volcano. She just laid an egg. Oh, damn, we killed some parents. I had no idea. No idea, huh? Ignorance can be a very dangerous thing. You would be wise not to act so rashly. I'm a bleach character. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to the top of the volcano. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, we might as well finish the job. <laughs> uh, is that it? You can't do anything else? Can't doesn't, doesn't go look anywhere? like it to me, right? Okay. That's weird. Okay. Um... Maybe it's like uh, you go back and they're like, "What did you do?" Or, hmm. or I smash the egg and finish the job. <laughs> Always end the bloodline. <laughs> uh, that reference. Go watch our It Takes Two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what is this? Beware of dwell. It's a little too late for that. How about um, we we look this up and. I don't think we need to look up. We'll just go back. Let's we'll go back? Yeah. All the way back? I don't think it would make us go all the way back. Yeah, but what is this? It's just egg. All right, we'll figure it out next time. Right, bye. Bye.